Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Now, a bit of a different video. This is still kind of like one of those dev updates that we've done before. Uh, but this is specifically about one champion. Uh, a few days ago, by now, like three days ago, uh, they uploaded this quick gameplay thoughts, June 25th, upcoming Aurelia changes. Now, the reason why I'm making this, because some people are like, Huz, you're not really an Aurelia player. I'm not. But what I am is someone who sucks versus Aurelia. Basically, I've said for ages, Aurelia is my kryptonite pick. And I've always been like, is it because it's me? Like, am I, is it literally just because, you know, every now and then you as a player, you're going to find something that you just can't seem to beat, which I think is part of my issue. But also I do, I have always thought Aurelia is on the really strong side, at least in lane phase. That, you know, the champion, I think someone works out once, like, you know, even at level one, when her, if a passive proc, she gets over a thousand gold worth of stats. And just to say, like, some people say, what does that mean? Well, again, there's the kind of gold value per AD. That, like, you know, the average item to the game, how much does it cost to get 50 attack damage? You can work that out of gold value. Of gold value of what stats Aurelia gets, it's apparently over a thousand gold, which is mad. And I've always been like, is it me or what? And, you know, with streaming and talking about Aurelia, there are people that have come up going, no, I've got a problem with Aurelia as well, etc. But they are now doing, I don't know if they're redeeming it as like a mini rework, but they are, you know, they're, they're updating or changing the champion. Not really with her kit as much as just her balance. So let's go into it and give our opinion and stuff. Hey all, a hefty patch of Aurelia changes hit the PB loss uh, this week. And I'm here to walk you through the journey. So their plans are durability down early, up late, passive caps at four instead of five stacks, massive passive, uh, sorry, max passive damage and attack speed down in the early game. The Q dash speed reduced slightly, so she's not as fast with her Q. Uh, Q minion damage scales with level, so it might not do as much in the early game, but it gets better as, as the game goes on for scaling. W physical damage reduction now also scales your level, so it might do less damage reduction in the early game, might do more in the late game for physical damage. The W has got ma um, magic damage reduction again, which, remember, they got you rid of that because Aurelia started taking over mid lane, and they're like, well, let's get rid of that. But they are uh, having the magic d damage reduction half the physical damage reduction. The w, w, uh, the w damage increased substantially, so they're actually making the W not just, I'm going to hold it to do, you know, retake for damage reduction. It actually does damage itself properly. The E blade travel time fixed at 0 0.25 seconds, so it's like the same every single time. And each R rank reduces the base cooldown. Oh, okay. So level 6, well, I don't know if it would, yeah, I guess it would. Level 6. The R cooldown will go down of the base cooldown with leveling your ulti, then level 11, then level 16. So my grand summary for this so far is they do seem that they want to try and calm down her lane phase because in the in the hands, I will say, in the hands of an average, an average Aurelia in high rating, and when I, I would say diamond and above, Aurelia is practically a free win in lane. Like for lane phase. It's not a free win in the game. And obviously not everything's about the, the actual, you know, lane phase in early game. But she wins the lane for free. Without really doing anything. It's just she's too strong to actually take on a lot of the time. So let's see what Riot is saying. Aurelia is a bit of a hot mess. Uh, she's a lane destroying counter god but falls off later like a brick taking swim lessons her w doesn't feel great she's so powerful in the hands of pros that the rest of you are playing a champ whose win rate is usually rough well again win rate isn't really a problem but we wanted to smooth out her power curve make her kit feel a little bit better to play and tap down her pro uh, pro play um again a little thing that i've heard here is this in essence is a nerf to good aurelias and a buff to bad aurelias but for people that play against Aurelia, she's less oppressive in lane phase. So for me, this is fine, um, to be honest. So I had some ideas of how to get there and went to the game analysis team, a bunch of high MMR players and ex-pro analysts who play test and polish the stuff designers make. To gut, uh, to gut check them. I also chatted with Aurelia's VGU designer about Aurelia's strengths and weaknesses, as well as which parts of her kit are really exciting and what falls flat. Based on those decisions, I had two initial goals. One, see whether we could lower Aurelia's early power to nerf her in pro play. And I'd say, 
you know, not just pro play, I'd say solo queue, high rating, etc. especially, but, or if dominate lane at the cost of uh, late game power was fundamental to what makes Aurelia exciting. Two, see if adding a new effect to W uh, would make the spell feel more exciting and worth using. Okay. Everything so far, I, I will, I'm relatively in agreement with, which is good. Um, so, where am I? I think I scrolled down too much here. Dropping her early durability and passive strength was successful for goal one. In pro and li uh, pro, live Aurelia wins by crushing the early game so hard that she's too far ahead to even fall off by the time again the, the game is going to end. The, uh, this version struggled to achieve that same level of auto win laning since she couldn't giga chad stat check half the roster. A riot is using that term, is which is kind of funny. Uh, but she still felt like Aurelia when she earned an advantage. So it's not like, again, Riot is literally saying she just won the lane for free by how strong her stats and passive were, which is true. But with toning this down, you could still win lane, but it just wasn't an auto win. Riot is legit here saying current Aurelia of her, like how she's been, like what I've been always complaining about. She was an auto win lane champion. That's just what she was. This is really nice to hear, by the way, I will say. Because again, this is my kryptonite. I suck versus Aurelia, but maybe it's because I don't actually suck versus Aurelia. Maybe because she's an auto... Or, like, this is Riot's words. Auto win laning because she couldn't giga chad stat check people. That's Riot's own words. That's hilarious. All right, so... um. Blah, blah, blah. The second change was Dicier. In this test, a max charge W applied Q's mark to all enemies here. Oh god, that doesn't sound good. Uh, it, do it does sound good. That sounds OP. Um, a perfect W could mark all five opponents, which was really exciting for Aurelia's fantasy of zipping and dashing through fights. It was also really, really messed up. Even just in lane, she could charge W, whack you, mark you, then kill you. W is definitely worth casting but too much so. So yeah, again, remember with Aurelia, if she lands her stun, she gets a Q mark that gives her the free reset on her Q. Uh, or if she ults people, it gives a mark to get a free Q. What they did was give the W, if you held W for the full charge, hit the enemy, you'd also then get a, f a free Q. Yeah, that's too strong. So I think they're not doing that. On to round two, where W healed Aurelia for every enemy hit, scaling with charge time. Oh, great. We need more healing, right? I don't think we need more healing. Again, Aurelia's Q, I would say, heals a lot anyway, unless they were nerfing that. But I don't think they are. I, yeah, I don't think there's no Q reduction in healing or anything. Um, so, yeah, uh, Aurelia's W heals for every enemy hit, scaling with the charge time. This was still exciting, but not nearly as much as the mark. It also shoved Aurelia too hard into sustain. This convinced me to reassess whether the spell actually needed an extra effect. For iteration three, I took a step back and uh, to look at more of the, you know more than just the W. One of Aurelia's mechanics I knew was problematic, uh, but had been reluctant to change was E timing. In experienced hands on low ping, E is a zero counterplay stun. On high ping, or for regular players though, hitting the stun in a, is a decently interesting challenge. I knew this was going to hurt, but I had to change it. I changed E's blade travel time from variable to fixed. No matter where you cast a blade, it would always take 0.25 seconds to get there. Wow, so this is what they're saying. This is a buff to high ping, lagging players, or regular players, and a nerf to experienced players on low ping. So yes, they are kind of nerfing good Aurelia players, I guess. Uh, this definitely stung experienced Aurelias. A unique combo was gone and the spell was less responsive. That always sucks. But going back to our goals, it helped level the playing field between pros and everyone else. Uh, and bought even more room to make W satisfying. For version 3, I buffed W's damage and damage reduction and brought back its magic damage reduction. Uh, the button felt like a powerful defense again, and honestly, that's all it needed to be. Interesting. We had leftover power budget to spare, 
that's uh, how warping insta e was. So yeah, they they are they said we can actually make her even stronger because of how big of a change the e is, and you know that's kind of crazy. So I had some few more things to go into try first. Going back to the four stack passive, Aurelia's passive is uh, really unforgiving at five stacks. So without minions around, you have to hit every ability to get five. Um, and below that, you just don't deal damage. Going back to four uh, was a substantial accessibility improvement and didn't heavily cut into Aurelia's mastery of fantasy. So yeah, Aurelia, remember, she gets her passive stacks either by hitting all unique abilities or let's say her Q is she hits a one minion with Q. Um, that will be one stack. Uh, then kills, you know, resets on another minion. That'll be two stacks. So when there's minions around, she can get to her passive uh, really fast. But without minions, she does struggle. But why don't they just change the passive? Like, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's the passive that's the problem. I don't know. Uh, the last story to tell is about the R Q cooldown reducing passive. Aurelia is supposed to be a battle dancer whooshing around, uh, whooshing through team fights, taking people down and prancing around. But one double tap Q and you've got a uh, lead uh, in your pointies. What? Uh, I wanted to let her live out her team fight dance fantasy. So we had tested each R rank, giving her basic ability haste. That got really messed up with multiple W's and E's in a fight, but it was too, it was perfect for Q. So we converted it to, to flat reduction. After that, a few touches of Art and Saud and Wham, we have spruced up Aurelia, we think can be playable even after Baron spawns and isn't just for pros. Uh, and now enemies can also see her passive stacks. Okay, that's quite big. You can actually see her passive stacks. That's really big. So again, I wanted to make this video because obviously I've always been a little bit vocal about, oh god, Aurelia, she's my kryptonite. Is it me? Is it the champion? It does seem it's maybe a little bit of both that, you know, I do struggle versus the champion, but maybe it's because, again, in the higher ranks, this guy has been actually really harsh to how easy Aurelia's been. He's he's basically said, in the hands of good players, she's an auto auto winning top laner who just giga chad stat checks her opponent. That's like, it's nothing to do with the player at that rate. It's about the champion being that strong in lane phase. And if you just put an average to decent player on that champion at high rating, she's going to win lane. And then the other thing was the E, that they're literally saying the E stun was like, you. it was, uh, where was it? Uh, yeah, zero counterplay stun. So this is Riot's own words. They're saying she was a Giga Chad stat check champion who what auto won lane phase with a zero counterplay stun. So maybe this guy, I don't know, he's fixing Aurelia. Maybe he got triggered by Aurelia himself. I don't know. But to me, this is good. Everything so far has been a massive tick in the box of like, she, her early game is going to calm down. Her early game is going to calm down, but she's going to get better scaling. That's fine. Aurelia, as we, you know, she did fall off. But the problem a lot of the time, it wasn't about the champion falling off. She built such a big lead in that free lane phase that it didn't matter that, oh, you know, oh, we will outscale an Aurelia. Well, the game's over before you even can outscale. So honestly, it does seem that the guy that's doing this has, you know, done it well. It does seem that he knows the problems that Aurelia's had. And I'm really happy about it. So much so that I'm making this video to like, what do you guys think? I wouldn't normally make this type of video that's just about one champion. I'd prefer a couple other topics, but I think it's worth making because so many people have messaged me going, Huzz, they're doing a thing about Aurelia. You need to talk about it. So I'm talking about it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hope you're all doing well. Is there any other champion? And that could be a question. Is there any champion that you think doesn't need a full rework? Because like this isn't a rework. This is a balance update. Is there any other champion do you think that needs this type of thing? I can probably think of a few, but they all kind of belong in the same group of champions. <coughs> AP Melee. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. If you guys enjoy, throw a like on it. Let your comment down below. And uh, subscribe if you've not either. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.